Okay. I guess. Is it recording now? I think so. Okay, I'm back, guys. Hi. Um. Cursed Castilla. Never heard of it. What is it? Is it like some... It sounds like Castlevania. <laughs> what a terrible night to have a... Castilla. I also need to play Castlevania games. I don't know how I haven't done that when I like Mega Man. I do think I would. Whoa! My fucking god. Ugh. This is why I don't like this level. They do. Seriously? What a what a terrible night to have a fungible token. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Dude, it's awesome. That's funny. <laughs> Genius. But, um, but, but that's stealing. Um, Nabbit said so. I would never do that. I hate pirating. No, I, I, I don't know. Maybe. Do they still do it, or do they do it, like, when... What's it? Um, when like Me Six was doing NFTs. Wait, is Me Six still doing NFTs? Dude, imagine like buying a Me Six. <laughs> Especially because Me Six is like just not like a good Discord bot. Like that is just such a stupid thing. First of all, it's a Discord bot NFT, okay? And it's not even like Yag. PDB, which is kind of useful. Like, what if it was like Carl Bot or something? <laughs> that would be even worse, actually. That would be so much worse. Carl Bot. <laughs> That's like people who have like the, those like Discord hoodies. Like, dude, I like Discord. I use it a lot. Oh my god, I would never wear Discord merch. What? I think I've said this before, but like, what? People, why would people buy that? Whoa! What motivates a person to buy a Discord hoodie merch? Discord thigh highs. I guess so. Konami when it's stupid. That's true. That is true. Very true, thank you. <laughs> I think, like, even, like, Reddit knows not to do that. Like, I don't think... I hope... I hope Reddit merch doesn't exist. <laughs> I think it doesn't. Oh, thanks, Stream Elements. Hi there. A kind fellow. I've only been streaming for a couple hours, but I know why you're doing that, because my stream technically just started. Um, I'm already tired of Dusty Dune Galaxy. Dusty Dune's boring. 
You know what? I think it's hungry, hungry Luma time. Hooray. Now oh, I can't feed that one, even though this guy is Kingfin. Or Bonefin Galaxy, technically it's called, but it has Kingfin in it. And Kingfin's really cool. But we can't do him yet, because I don't have any star bits. So, let's, let's check out somewhere else. It's not? Oh, it's Big Mouth Galaxy, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's not. I'm thinking of something else. This is, like, the one with Big Fish guy. Big... F it's not called Big Mouth. Is it really called Big Mouth? I'm thinking of the stupid Netflix show now. This is Drip Drop Galaxy, right? This one? Drip Drop is not the one outside the bedroom. I'm 99% sure Drip Drop is outside the kitchen. Buoy base right here? Yeah. So, no. No. I'm pretty sure Buoy base, like, appears after you beat Gusty Garden or something. I don't know why it works like that. It's weird. Buoy base, my beloved. I love Buoy base Galaxy. Mainly because of the music. The level itself is a little bit weird. Um, did you know that this was actually the first level designed for this game? The concept art's super cool. It's like the steampunk place, but they changed it and they added gear modes. So, yeah. The best part about this level is that it has a water section, which means there are two versions of the song. That is just so cool, bro. Yeah, Mega Leg was here. You probably have seen that concept art where, like, Mega Leg is on the bottom of the planet. I'm assuming that's... You've probably seen that. Yeah, Mega Leg was going to be here. Pretty cool, right? Like, these are the kind of ideas that, like, in a 2D Mario game, these could happen. An Ultra World is what makes me think of this. That makes me kind of disappointed in 2D Mario. I, w I was kind of like a Nintendo sympathizer for a while. I was like, oh, whatever, it's not a big deal. As long as they're fun, right? But they could be fun and unique. That's the thing that they these games should be able to do. When I look at other Nintendo games, and, um... Okay, maybe I am, but I don't care. They make uh, Pikmin 4 in a year, which is cool. <laughs> um... But, I forgot what I was talking about. My stomach ache's still kind of here, which sucks. I literally think I ate a single onion. So, okay, so I, I went up with my family, with my mom and my sister. Um, and we got, we got this, like, Mexican food place that's uh, in, like, this city place we live near. Oh, oh my god, I totally ate an onion. It was really good, though. Um, nice job, Jack. But I ate, like, a, this taco. It was, um... I had, like, two ground beef tacos and this one, like, spicy fried chicken one. Dude, that spicy one, I think it had some onions in it. And onions kill me! It doesn't need to be a lot of onions. It doesn't matter if it's boiled or fried. If I have one smidge of onion, I have an awful stomach ache. And I'm like a guy who just doesn't like Tums, like my family does. No, it wasn't Poppies, no. <laughs> it was, um, Banditos. Have you ever been there? It's like across from Sweet Frog. It doesn't, because it doesn't matter where it is for me. It matters that there's an onion in it. Like, I need to always order, like, no onion on my burger. No one's like anything. When we went to Glory Days, I I specifically asked for no onions because I know that happens to me. And it, it kills me. Like, I got a Jersey Mike sub one time. Jersey Mike's is awesome, right? And it was such a delicious, delicious food. But I forgot to say no onions, so I was eating onions. And like five minutes into my meal, I had an awful stomach ache and I couldn't finish it because that just killed me. I ate like, I got like a 12 inch, a foot long, and um, 
I ate like half of it, but I, I just couldn't. The stomach aches was that bad. It puts me in an awful mood too. True, true. I actually I asked Apoc what I should get, and what I had was delicious. I tell you, I need to go there next time and just ask for no onions. Because I'm sure I'm going to have a delicious meal. Do you actually need the pole star for this? I'm pretty sure you do, but... Yeah, you definitely do. Okay. I was wondering if I could cut a little bit of corn with you. Isn't this music so good, dude? Oh my god, I love Dewey Bass's theme. I think this level would look a lot cooler visually. If, um, it was, like, raining, though. Like, that's what I associate this song with. There was this YouTube comment I saw on a video about this song. And, um, it was about how this song reminds them of, like, going to, um, like, going to, like, a war while it's raining. And I agree. This song's super cool. Also, this is... I have to mention this because everybody mentioned this in their fun fact about Mario. Hey, look, it's a Pokeball. It's upside down, but it is a Pokeball. No way. <laughs> Hidden green star. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hey, do you guys have any images where, um, Lubba from Mario Galaxy 2 is, like, pooing out an egg and Mario... <laughs> Teehee. This would be funny for laughs, I think. Teehee. Haha. -ha. Sorry if this offends anyone. <laughs> it's a copy pasta demo. Okay. It's pretty funny. It's a little bit silly, perhaps. Okay, wait, I already did that. Oh, wait. Um... What else have I not done here? Green star. Right. Dude, there's... Some of them are, like, that one. And so, that's a good idea. I should do that. But, and then some of them are, um... Like, R, 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 R. Orator fans, they have the ability to either be, like, <laughs> that, or RRR, -R -R. or whatever it was, like, Plant Nation Rise Up, like, <sighs> me, 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 all right, green star time, this is a pretty cool one, too, usually I should do the green star first, because it's faster, it's, like, actually a really short star, I really wish this was, like, a real galaxy, this is, like, my problem with, um, Galaxy 1, my number one problem with the game. Is that there are real galaxies, and then there are filler galaxies. And this game has a lot of both. Well, actually, a lot of filler, not a lot of real. <laughs> um, there are some galaxies that really feel fleshed out, and they have plenty of stuff to them. Like, Ghostly Galaxy, Beach Bowl Galaxy, Honey Hive Galaxy, Toy, Toy Time Galaxy. But then there are galaxies like this, that just... There's not a lot to them, but they still have that cool idea because it's Mario Galaxy and, you know, they've got, like, genius people working on these games, making them cool. So, you'd think that some awesome thing would happen here, but... Oh my god, my stomachache sucks right now. I'm gonna have to end stream soon. Like, this is... God, I don't know what to do about this. That's where it's from. I've been wondering where that's from. <laughs> that's extremely cool. True. Extremely true. I think... I think it's a shame because Pokemon is a series that would, like, if it looked good visually, it would be 
amazing. It's such a good series to make look good, because I love Pokemon. And if it looked like... Like, you know those images of, like, realistic Pokemon? Like, when I was eight years old and I saw those, I thought that was, like, so cool. And, like... <laughs> This will be Pokemon in 2014. I believed that! I thought it would! I was let down that it looks like a Nintendo 64 game. And uh, it's not like... When your series is an RPG, I think it's important to not think about the gameplay. Because the gameplay... Is not what makes RPGs good. Sorry. RPGs are good because of stuff other than gameplay. And another problem I have with Pokemon games that aren't Gen 5 is that their stories are also kind of lame, or at least not, or at least shallow to me. So, the thing with RPGs is they tend to have like a really cool story to make up for, I need to stop having those two um, hit each other. Is that they tend to have a really cool story because it's easy with the simple game to explain them. I know, 13. <laughs> True. Also, Pokemon just like, Pikachu's cute. I think it's the true. But yeah, I do like the gameplay in Pokemon a lot compared to other RPGs. I think they do a good job with that. But I don't think you can really beat Mario and Luigi. That is the best gameplay for an RPG. I think it's simple, but like, it's awesome. Let's see your message. If I beat Castlevania 1, 3, Super 4, Bloodlines, and Rondo of Blood on stream, I'll give you a Steam game. Under 30 bucks. Could you please buy me seven copies of Five Nights at Freddy's 2? I think that would be funny. I think that would be very funny. Please do this. Oh, yes. Yes! Don't hit the big amp. Hit the... Yeah! I did beat FNAF 1. What's up, Gun? That's so true. Okay. Very true. I really like Thousand Year Door, but Mario and Luigi's better. <laughs> I, the combat is definitely better. I would beat FNAF VR if it wasn't like, you know, I need a VR headset. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know you have FNAF VR. Do you ever beat it? I remember we were like talking about that last year. Damn. That's a great idea. Go. Very good. That game is awesome. That is true, Intense Burn. Um, people say Pokemon games have bad for your play value. I don't know why people say that. People say that and I'm like, what? <laughs> that Pokemon has amazing replay value, if you ask me. Because you can just make a new team every time. And it gets harder because your first playthrough, you're going to use all the good Pokemon. Like, if you're playing Gen 4, you're going to use, like, literally every single person's Gen 4 team had Star Raptor, Luxray, um, probably a Bibarel, HM Slave, um, like, Lucario, probably. Not actually me, I never used Lucario, though. But, um, you know? So, yeah, right? I think. Pokemon has amazing replay value. People just say it doesn't. I don't know why. Alright. That's so expensive. I feel ripped off because this level's like really short. But whatever. Dude, I love Gen 3. You know, Intense Burn, I have no nostalgia for the game. I, um, well, technically I... Okay. If you're going to be a bum and a nerd, my first ever p game ever was a Gen 3 game, because Fire Red is technically Gen 3, I guess. Dude, I love Breloom! Breloom's awesome! Breloom's so cool. Gen 3 is actually amazing. I love Gen 3. Um, 
Emerald is probably like my third favorite Pokemon game. I think my favorite is definitely Black 2. Actually, I wouldn't I wouldn't say definitely. Soul Silver is definitely up there. I think Heart Gold Soul Silver are great games. And they should be seen as such. They're really fun. I think the Pokemon following you is so nice in that game. Just seeing those little sprites for everything, it, it's so cute. It makes me happy. Like, I think it, the game's amazing. I like, I think, the, um, when I was younger, I thought that Gold, or technically his name's Ethan, I thought his hat was really cool. Like, it's not red and white like everyone else's. I thought it was cool. Dude, Gen 2's awesome. I think there's something charming about, like, the Pokemon designs of Gen 2. I don't know if it's that, like, they're stupid, but I think it is that they're stupid. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Could you, like, bring it tomorrow or something? <laughs> That'd be awesome. But Gen 2... Okay, actually, I kind of disagree. I think Gen 3 has the best in just abilities. Abilities are so nice. Awesome. But a Gen 2 in they've introduced eggs and breeding, which are pretty important, honestly, for competitive stuff. But, um... Uh, but Gen 3, like, held items is also cool. That is true. Each game introduced something new. Um, Gen 4, I think the physical special split was such a huge deal that I really, like, almost can't even play uh, Gen 3 anymore. Like, I love the physical special split so much. It's such a big deal for me. Because, like, I like Breloom a lot, right? And Breloom... Sure. So he has amazing uh, physical attack, right? It's like 130, I think. It's 130 or 140, which is amazing. That's incredible, right? But in Gen 3, all grass type moves deal special damage, which means that you're using his like stupid 50 base special attack. So, yeah. I have Pokemon Yellow on the 3DS Virtual Console. And I've played a little bit, but I just kind of play Fire Red like it's better. <laughs> Though I did lose my Fire Red cartridge. I don't know where it is. Which is sad. I remember where I last saw it, but I haven't seen it there. So I think something happened to it. Which is kind of sad. This level's cool. This is probably my favorite Bowser level. This level has Matter Mouths. I love Matter Mouths. What cool enemies. Wait, does this level have Matter Mouths? Lisa the Painful? What's that? I like simple RPGs. That's my thing. Like, a game like um, Paper Mario or Pokemon or Mario and Luigi, uh, even like Dragon Quest, I think, I think would be good for me. However, a game like Xenoblade or Final Fantasy, I would never like. I don't think I would ever like a game like that. Once they start pulling out the skill trees, I stop playing. That's that's my thing. I can't do this. Unless it's like maybe Mario Rabbids. <laughs> Mario Rabbids makes skill trees pretty simple. Oh. Mario just got... Wow. Oh, if Nabbit doesn't like it, I can't play that game. Sorry. I have rules. Sorry. Is it like... a quirky game? You know what I mean. Is it about... anxiety and depression? Quirky little indie game. Does it have pixel art graphics by chance? Uh-oh. Are you one of them, Donut King? I trusted you. Oh, well, you know what? You know, maybe I'm interested. Donut King, tell me more about this game. Tell me more. Tell me more. 
Seems like a really interesting game. So like, wow, Lisa. Earthbound inspired. Wow. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Quirky Earthbound RPG. Yeah, I've heard enough. Me 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 Only men are left. Okay. And I'm assuming Lisa is a woman. Oh, that seems like it would be a weird game. I think I'm in that situation. I I just think I know where the game would go. I see how it's about like quirky or whatever. Though. <laughs> quirky game about a situation like that where I'm gonna stop talking about that because I know I know where I think that would go, and I I don't know. Lisa. My aunt is actually named Lisa. Fun fact. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Super fun fact. Dude, my stomach still hurts from that onion. I had literally a single onion, I think. It didn't say they had onions in that food. I don't think there were supposed to be onions in that food, actually. What just happened? I don't know if I'm too sensitive. I would like to say that I'm I'm not too sensitive, I just don't like when things are scary. <laughs> if it's sad, I don't care. But if Freddy Fazbear's in it, then that's a big that's a difference. So true. Dude, that that is really coming up now. I just cheated. Is Bowser gonna spawn? Wait, I've never done this before. He didn't. <laughs> oh, he did. Hi, Bowser. Ah, it's you. That's it, Mario. I'm gonna stomp you into space bits. Why do you kind of sound like Guts Man there for a second? Well, I don't care who you are. If you're messing up my sight, I'm gonna hurt you good. Hi, Bowser. So yeah, this game, um, I think I do prefer the Galaxy 2 Bowser fight. But I do like this one a lot. This one's really fun when, um... When he starts, like, bouncing around really, really fast, it gets very chaotic. So they did a good job with that. The music's also really good, I mean, as usual with this game. Also, can we just, like, talk about more how, how pretty this game is? This game came out in 2007. Like, 2007 is, like, dude, Carl was almost born in 2007. Damn! In fact, I was kind of almost born in 2007. Not too far from it. Hey, Roller. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot how to fight this boss. <laughs> I know, he, he needs to jump at you. Can you duck? No, you can't. Alright. I was thinking of, um... Hi hey guys. I was thinking of that one, uh, what's the one I thinking of? Boomerang Bros? I think you're Boomerang Bros. Cause you can duck under their boomerangs in this game, which is pretty cool. And that makes Galaxy 2 the perfect run a lot easier, because of that one section at the end, where there are 
billion boomerang brooms. 13's here. Oh, wait, actually, uh, 13 just left. Crazy, right? So you have to DM him on Discord, I guess. Oopsie. Oh Not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario. Skadoosh. That's Mario's real voice. Yeah, that was interesting. Mario doesn't usually come. Bowser doesn't usually count with Mario. Whoa, yeah, switch. Careful, bud. Watch your tone. Can't be saying that. Yeah, what's your favorite roller? Ritz or, like, Keebler? I think you're allowed to say that. Because we have context. I'm, I'm more of a... You know, actually, I do like Ritz a lot, though. Carl, how have you never heard of Keebler Crackers? Keebler, the Keebler Elves? They're like this family of elves, and they live in trees, and they make cookies, or cookies and crackers. You've never heard of Keebler either, Roller? What the hell? Is this some, like, East Coast thing? Dude, what's wrong with, what's wrong with tree elves? Dude, they're so cool. I love Keebler crackers. <laughs> 13, you blew your cover. <laughs> he knows you're here. He's gonna ask you to hop on Elden Ring. Or probably Splatoon. Even worse. My special one. Oh, this is one of my favorite details in this game. Also, look, listen to that. Now there's a whole orchestra playing for me. It's very cool how when you get more power stars, the music bumps up a little bit. They're not tree stoners, they're elves, bro. It's different. Also, Chem sucks at cooking. Oh my god, Roller, don't... Don't be that guy, bro. Don't be that guy. You know, Roller, I... I'm not gonna be weird on Twitch, but I'm about to be weird on Twitch. Okay, I'm... I do kind of agree with you, especially in like the biker outfit, bro. But I don't want to be lumped in with other Rosalina fans because Rosalina fans are the most disgusting, grimy people. Like, eek. Okay, okay. You know what I mean, though, right? Like, have you met someone who's like the people who are really vocal about it too? Daisy's better. I'm. I was joking, by the way, guys. Joking. Uh, mm. <laughs> All right, sure. Well, that's on the internet now. I didn't go into detail, though, or anything. I did. Anyways, here's Gold Leaf Galaxy, guys. You guys are interested in this one, right? Yeah, I am. So Gold Leaf Galaxy is literally just Honey Hive Galaxy flipped. They literally just flipped it, like, across the Y-axis. It's very funny. They flipped it to make it look like Autumn. And yet, it's still one of my favorite levels. Why? I don't know. I do like Autumn levels in the video games, like the Wistful Wild and Twilight River from Pikmin 3. But... Yeah, this is... Mm. So this, is this like the one with, yeah, the blue star chips, right? Yeah, it is. I wonder if, I've always thought that uh, when you have the, the bee mushroom, your hitbox is like smaller when you shake to attack. I don't know if that's real or 
I just imagine it, but... I feel like I always have trouble hitting people when I have the bee mushroom. I'll do the secret star, I think, first. Because the engine room is actually, like, really awesome. I think. I only remember Toy Time and this. But I'm pretty sure there are other fun ones, too. Wow. This level... I think I've actually beaten this one without the bee mushroom. Oh my god, you clipped it. Okay, you instigated it, Roller. You said in my Twitch chat, Rosalina, oh my god! You said that. And I'm assuming you did that voice, too, in real life. <laughs> so... So can you blame me? Just like that, Donut King. That's actually what Roller sounds like if you ever talk to him. He sounds exactly like this. It's his voice. It's very memorable. But anyways... <laughs> you are an enabler, Roller. You know that? You're a monster. There goes my bee mushroom. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. I, like, have played this game a million times, but every single time I forget where the starships are. There's one here, right? Yeah, there's a... Well, wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, bro. You're letting my Splatoon player out. Do not... Dude, I think that's so funny. I was talking to my friend not much about that. <laughs> they literally, like, like Carl mentioned this. They literally just, like, they were... <laughs> Hold on, where's the, um... Let me try to find that. There's, um, this video... There's, like, so funny, bro. Let me find it. Um... Ignores... Well, this is this it. Okay, I can't find it. But basically, Twitch, <laughs> they were like, after our like uh, partner survey, we've realized that the majority of people, which was like something like eighty, it was more than eighty, almost everybody was for a seventy thirty cut, which is normal. That would make sense. And Twitch is like, but let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about the money details right now. Dude, this is so many people's actual job. You can't just not worry about it right now. That's different. For me, you can not worry about it right now because I do this in my basement to play Mario and talk to people. Um, So many people, this is their actual freaking job. Okay, you can't just like... Dude... I really do wonder where Twitch... Dude, it could be worse, okay? Oh no. Oh my god, I almost fell off. Um, but, like, I wonder what Twitch does with the money that they get from some of this stuff. Like... God damn. Okay, if one of these doesn't spawn a vine, I literally don't know where to go. It didn't do that. Um, where is it? That's true. That's kind of it, though. And YouTube doesn't... To be fair, YouTube doesn't have... Like, they don't promote their streams well. Which I think they should start doing. Like, if I was Susan... I would start getting into streaming because Twitch people are wanting to leave Twitch now. Took took them long enough. Twitch kind of sucks, and it has sucked. 
I like Twitch. God, all right. Twitch could be a big thing, and it's so sad for all of the things that are like like D Live and Mixer. You can't compete with Twitch because of how this sort of content creation thing works. When it's made by like individuals, um, you can't just like start doing it and expect yourself to beat the big boys. Because the big boys are the best boys, in this case. And... Yeah. Oh, Cosmic Shoes on YouTube now, that's cool. I had a Cosmic phase. I'd never been too into streamers. There's this one guy who streamed Mario Galaxy 2. Because he did speedruns and I like speedruns. And I, I thought we watched a little bit of Cosmic at a point. And I, um... Ugh. When I was like 13, I had a small ant phase. Eek! Nothing wrong with small ant, but like... All of his fans are children. Which I guess happens. And also, he keeps getting my recommended, and I don't like it. Small Ant has a wife? Dude, I would feel bad. Like, I... Oh, wow. You know what? He's a Super Mario Odyssey speedrunner. I understand. <laughs> but, like, um... But... <laughs> um... What were they saying? <laughs> wife beating, right. Yeah. So I've been working on getting into Super Mario Odyssey, because I think it seems like a fun thing to speedrun. Maybe. Where am I going with this? <laughs> that, was, that was an awful joke. Uh, can I get up here? I think we're supposed to have the bee suit right now. Oh, I'm definitely supposed to have the bee suit right now. Oh, what I was saying. Right, I forgot. I'm surprised he has a wife. Um, not because he plays Nintendo games, but, um, because, like, he streams for, like, 14 hours a day, sometimes more. And when you stream that much, like, you don't get to spend time with people. I can still see you having, like, friends, I guess, but, I don't know, a wife is, like, dedication. You need to, you know, spend time with that person. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't want to have a job like in, like a football player or something. Too shut up, though, anything. Like, you have any yourself, but we're both Mega Man fans here. But, um, I do know that's some dedication in order to keep make that work. So, I think if you have something where you're, like, going to be streaming constantly, also live, too. Like, if you're a YouTuber, I think that's fine. Um, probably. Okay, do I really need to get the freaking bee suit right now? Or are you being freaking serious with me right now? Oh my god, I'm still on the first planet. I've been in Honey freaking Nuts Avenue. Ah! <laughs> if you didn't know, when I die there, if I died there, I would have had to get all of the star chips again. Because it does not save. There's a checkpoint after this planet. But, like, after. I saw Friendy Fazbear. Gasp? Are you serious? It was actually on the fucking spring the whole time. Cool. All right. Okay. Cool, 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 cool.
Cool, 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 cool. <sighs> so I tried to climb that whole entire mountain for so long because I was looking for this last blue coin ship and I was thinking it was probably on there and it was on this stupid spring. Oh my god. That's my fault for not knowing, like, this game I, that I've played a million times, but still! God, what? Whatever. And just chase bunnies, I guess, now. Can you do that? Can you hit them with that? Actually, I don't know. I take back what I said about liking this level. Hi. No. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Is his eye feeling better? That's good. Trying to send a picture to mommy when it happened, and he's like smiling, being such a good boy, posing. But like, oh, oh yeah, that's definitely red. And when you look here, like, look at how swollen. Yeah, how it's swollen. Okay. And then. Oh. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> okay. Look at his little teeth. Oh my god, mental teeth. No. It's like a beaver or something. But not even a beaver because he's like so gentle. Yeah. Okay, you too. Good night. Okay, bye. Yeah. The voice output is a problem. It would be fine, but what I have to do is crank it all the way up so you guys can hear me. Because you guys seem too quiet. Um, so my voice, is it's always going in the red now. Like, right now, if I'm talking right now, right now, right now, right now, it's in the yellow. But if I'm talking right now, right now I'm talking, right now, it's in the red. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think. But basically, I have to put my volume in OBS to 1500%. So that way I'm loud enough. Because I guess I just kind of speak quietly in real life. Um... So, yeah. Did I scream? Let me watch that clip. Hey, do I really need to get this freaking bee suit right now? Or are you just being freaking serious with me right now? Oh my god, I'm still on the first planet. I've been in Honey freaking Nuts Avenue. <laughs> oh god! That was loud. <laughs> okay, that was actually really loud. Wow. I don't remember making that noise. <laughs> it's like a jump scare sound. Yeah. Okay, this guy is Guppy. He's from Mario. You may know him. So this is actually a fun one in Galaxy 1 because of this trick you can do where you just constantly shake the Wii Remote. But once you get the shell, I think it's faster anyway. I mentioned this last stream, but in Galaxy 2, in the sequel, you can't just keep shaking it. So you can't do that, like, torpedo missile thing I was doing. So it's a little bit, um... A little bit different. I 
feel like he... Whatever. This level... Alright, I don't like this level that much. Um, this does a thing that Galaxy 1 does a lot, this game. It kind of tends to reuse the same ideas in the same level. Like, this is a beach, and it's a racetrack, right? That's pretty cool. And it's a fun racetrack, but... So in the first one, you're racing this guppy guy, right? Okay. The second star, you race these penguins. And then in the next star, you race, um... Cosmic Mario. You're just... you keep racing, and like, it's barely different. You don't have to adjust, adjust your strategy for anything. But uh, the best part of this one is you get to throw a shell at the back of Captain Toad's head. Pretty cool. How does a limiter work, like, for that? True. I'm actually really glad I, I didn't miss there. I thought I was going to miss. I am very excited to unlock Toy Time. I think Toy Time might be my favorite galaxy in this game. Maybe in both games. No. No. Oh. Does it just, like, make me quieter then? Does it just make me stop making noise? Because then I feel like I would probably just be clipping out a lot. Um. Probably. What if Five Nights at Freddy's happens? Then it's super scary, and I'm like, Eek! Is that Freddy Fishbear? Is he gonna eat me? Yes! Funny, 6300, you're back just in time for the Cataquack level. These guys are so cool. But I'm gonna do the Secret Star first, because it's fun. Um, it is this star, right? That one? Yeah, it is, okay. If I can, actually. Okay. This is a cool one. It's weird in the way that Galaxy 1 stuff is weird, but I like it. Also, if you couldn't hear, but this is supposed to be... Uh, Da, 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 da. The underwater theme from Super Mario Bros. 1. But I was going really fast, so it sounded like not it. I like that. Because usually Galaxy 2 does, um... Galaxy 2 uses the same theme. That's what it tends to use for all of those little music note things, which I think is kind of lame. I wish they used mo mo more than one. Because there are so many fun tracks you could do that with. Oh, you know what? Is my guitar down here? It is. I learned a new song. Donut King. It's not Mega Man, but I want to see if you recognize it. You should. It's a pretty classic tune. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm trying to teach myself... Um, Proto Man's whistle, like whistle concert, but it is hard. Okay. You'll still know this song, though. Okay. Check this out. Make sure it's all tuned. It's pretty good. Okay. All right. Kind of messed up the end part. That was a little bit off, but do you know what that was? If you don't, I'll do it again, and I'll kind of like sing along. All right, I'll do it again. Ba da da. Wait, oops. Ba da da. 
Ba da da. Ba da 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 da. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wait. Do 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 do. Shoot, I got that part wrong. This is Lon Lon Ranch or Romani Ranch from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, respectively. That part I actually don't know how I do that. It's like do 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 do. I don't really know how to do that exactly. I kind of forgot. But you know what I do know how to do exactly? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know Proto Man Whistle. Sorry, <laughs> but I can sing it, but I won't because that would be a long time. Because whistle concerts, awesome, and I also can't whistle. Thing is, with the whistle, is you need to learn how to do this thing where you like extend a note. You have to like wiggle your finger on it because it's like. Do 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 do. Well, I don't know how to play it. You know what? I'll look up the tab right now. I'll do that. Note that my guitar is a tiny little smidge out of tune. Okay. <laughs> I found it. Are you ready? For something amazing. This is sad. This says a lot about society, I think. Um. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, no. No, not that. So this is eleven, ten, nine, eight. Okay, it's down there. Wait, no. That was close. You know what? I just said the intro. Usually you just go like... Do, 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 do. And then he appears. So there's the intro, guys. I'll learn the whole song later. I'll try to learn a new song um, for every stream. You guys get to guess it, and there's no reward. How fun. Right. Yeah. Um, Gold Leaf Galaxy Time. Give me Toy Time. I need Toy Time Galaxy. Wait, you two are here right now. Do you know how this is significant? I do. Eh? Oh, okay. Tomorrow night, maybe? Or tomorrow morning. If that would work better for a tennis burn.
because Donut King and I have the same time zone, I think. And Intense Burn has the exact opposite of us. So it's 11.30 p.m. for both of us, I think, Donut King. I'm pretty sure you're my time zone. Um, and it's 11.30 a.m. for uh, Intense Burn. So yeah, it's hard to schedule stuff. We've tried to schedule Pokemon Showdown games a, a long time ago. Yeah, I'm EST. I live in Maryland. Ouch. Here's a Cataquack. You may know him. He's a pretty cool guy. True. Could we get this man a true, please? If possible. Oh, you go up here. That's what this area is for. Okay. Ah. Even though you can cheese it pretty easily, I think. Oh, there goes my bee mushroom, I guess. I just was looking at chat and I accidentally stumbled in there. But I think I land in water anyway. Yeah, I do. So I would have lost it. All right, let's uh, get that Cataquack over here. Can that Wiggler leave me alone for a sec, though, please? Sorry, bud. I'm sorry I jumped on you. Or ground near you. And didn't kill you. If I killed him, he'd be fine. Well, he'd be dead, but that would be fine for me. <coughs> okay. Womp. Wow. All right, it's a total maze. Can you do this without him, though? I'm pretty sure you don't even need Cataquack. This is actually a really unique level. You're supposed to bring Cataquacks with you to these places so they can launch you up and you get the air, which is cool because Mario Sunshine, they exist just to be a dick. But you use them, actually. They're kind of your friends here. Um. <coughs> but, um. But I still, it's a little bit awkward getting them to follow you sometimes. I do love Cataquacks, though. They're so weird. But I still love them. Like, they don't have faces. I don't know what they are. Ducks? Uh, what? They're extremely weird, but they're obviously made from Mario Sunshine because they look like that. This is the kind of unique idea I would expect in Galaxy 2. Now they give you plenty of Gataquax. As far as the eye can see. Oh no! I'm sorry. I mean to hit you. No, wrong way. Stop. No. No, no, this way. Thank you. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, okay. I have this crazy clip that I'll send in um, the server later if you guys are interested. I'll try it once. But not more than that. But basically what happened... It was me trying to beat this game without any power-ups at all. And this... Son of bitch Jenga Tower... Not the Jenga Tower, actually. I could do that pretty easily. But... Those flowers... So basically, I, I mentioned this. Those flowers or clouds... If you don't have the bee mushroom or cloud flower in Galaxy 2... Um, those sort of things will disappear underneath you. And if you do have it, they won't. But if you're doing a no power-up run, sometimes the game expects you to have that power-up, right? Like here. Here I'm supposed to lure a Cataquack over here so he can launch me up, but I don't have to. I can just cheat and do this, I think. Right, it's really tricky though, but 
I'm pretty sure it's doable. Damn, maybe it's not. I let me find the cataquack then. Hey bud, what's up? Over here. Oh, over here. You idiot. Jump over the rocks. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, and then you have him knock you up and you fly over here. Cool, alright. Yeah, it is cool. But Without the Cataquack, or without the, whatever, the, the Mario thing. What was I talking about? Yeah. Um. Without power-ups, you have to do some crazy wall jump stuff as Luigi, by the way. Take it up here. This is the hard part. These would immediately, almost immediately, a frame after, actually, they would disappear when I stand on them. And so I chained together like seven or so long jumps, frame perfect. I got so close to this star and I messed one up. It was a crazy clip that I will send to my server in like a second or something. I'm probably gonna end stream now. I'm, I'm kind of just tired now and stomach aches mostly gone, but I, I don't know, I'm kind of tired, I guess. Um, so, did I, I did, god damn, I just freaking unlocked Toy Time Galaxy, which would be so fun, but whatever. So, we'll do that next stream, guys, and maybe check out the storybook if you want to hear me, my storybook guy voice. So thank you for watching, everybody, um watching I guess both streams because OBS disconnected so there are two now you can watch in the VODs I guess thanks for watching have a nice night take care of yourself bye bye